Hi, I'm Uwe. I'm a lifelong entrepreneur and I'm the founder of invoiceberry.com. I've worked with Itama for the past three months and I have to say it's been life-changing um, to say the least. We've started working on my why in the first couple of calls and uh, wh why I do what I do in life, in business and how to get me to the next level. We talked a lot about not just planning the next quarter, but planning the next year, the next five years, the next decade and strategizing and having this higher level view on my life in business and in private. Um, I have to say within the first three months, I've calmed my nerves quite a lot, especially in these turbulent times of uh, Corona. I've um, learned a lot about stoicism. He introduced me to that actually. Um, I learned how to schedule, um, believe it or not, after running a business for 15, 20 years, I still was terrible at scheduling my time and prioritizing important tasks from busy work. I learned a lot about myself, um, where I want to be in two, three, five years time, but also, you know, in 20 years time. I uh, ask him some tough questions in my life. Uh, I was on the fringe of uh, selling my company. I wasn't sure if I should do it. We had discussions and it's not that he tells me what to do, but he just always knew the right question to ask. And just to provoke, um, you know, my thinking and to, to, to make me think differently. Um, it's a bit cliche, but to think outside of the box or, you know, to just um, have a different perspective on things. And um, especially if you're, you know, in your box for the last 30 years and you have a lot of limiting beliefs from childhood, from, you know, just doing things the way you used to do them. Um, working with him just helped me to open up and to, you know, slowly remove these limiting beliefs and just to understand how much potential there is and just um, how many things I can do by just believing in myself and by understanding there is an issue, uh, there is a limiting belief and by just, you know, working on it and slowly um, they started to crumble one by one and it's still a process, I'm still in the process, I'm still learning every day, but actually to reignite that light and that willingness to learn, to, to read books that bring me to the next level, to listen to, to, to podcasts and audiobooks and to just, you know, have these conversations with Itama uh, on a regular basis and just, you know, the way he challenges me and whenever I feel I... I solved an issue, I got to the next level, he identifies something else that we could improve. So thanks a lot, Etama, you've helped so much and uh, I'm very happy to continue that journey and to keep growing. Thank you.